Welcome everybody to another video from News Stories. Today we wanted to have a little bit of an extra moment talking about pizzas and showing you what we were talking about in our podcast. And right now we're going to demonstrate how they used to cook the pizza. One of the earliest forms of a pizza was really a way to regulate the oven temperature. So the way that that you would do that was you would put some dough in the oven and then you would decorate it with things like anchovies, anchovy paste, or something that's kind of cheap and around, olives, olive oil, that kind of thing. Yes. We're going to use a couple modern items instead. Yeah, so we, we are also not going to have the exact same oven that they used to have when they were cooking the pizzas or in the flatbreads. We but, live in California and we just yeah. don't have the space to make a wood burning oven. Or a brick oven. Or a brick oven or made mud burning. Made, made of Mount Vesuvius or lava rock. Mount Vesuvius lava rock. <laughs> ow, ow, I just burnt myself. <laughs> I just told you not to burn yourself. All right, so they would put the dough into the bottom of their oven or on the rocks and then they would weigh it down with various ingredients. What we have here today are bell peppers, onions, and of course mozzarella cheese, buffalo milk was one of the first cheeses and buffalo mozzarella is something that we still use today. And so we're, what we're doing is we're pretending that this mozzarella cheese from our local grocery store is in fact made of buffalo milk. <laughs> it looks good. Really nice. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so we're going to put that in there and let that cook. And when it's ready, we will show you what it looks like. This is the part where we have our taste tester, the amazing Michael DeGiovene, my husband. Hello. We picked some strange ones, but not anything with bugs on it and nothing with fish because he's allergic. But I tried to get some June bugs for the pizza that they make in Missouri and I could mm. not get them shipped here. And he would have eaten it. <laughs> Next yeah. time. Okay, so the first one that we have is a pizza from India. It has mutton, tofu, and pickled ginger. Mike, go ahead and let us know how good that is. <laughs> Verdict? It's good? It's pretty good. <laughs> all right, he likes it. And for those yeah. of you at home, it just, all I can smell is ginger right now. That ginger really it's is pretty. coming off. It's very aromatic. It's but it's not completely. overpowering. Pretty it's enough. there, but it's not like, oh my God, it's ginger. All right, I'm gonna take this uh -huh. away. Oh wait, he's like, wait, I need the pickled ginger. Sorry. <laughs> you can eat some can of I it take later. It? Can I take it? Okay. All right. <laughs> this one is one of my favorites. It has dates, olive oil, and a little bit of buffalo mozzarella cheese. It is Persian from the time of Darius the Great, Darius the First, the Great. And his soldiers used to make this on the opposite side of their shields. They used to turn their shields over and cook it. I thought that was pretty cool. And I tried to yeah. actually get a shield and do that. It's hard to get a shield in California. <laughs> it totally is. I might know a guy. Well, oh, next time. Next time. I like it. From one perspective, it's got like the sugars from the, from the dates. It's got the proteins and all that stuff and the cheese. And it's got all the carbs. But it's downright sweet because of the dates, and I'm, I got a sweet tooth, so. Oh, good. Well, you're in luck for the yeah. next like two it. pizzas, then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one <laughs> is Greek. Oh, it's <laughs> Greek. Of course, we had to have a Greek pizza. Got to have a Greek pizza. Okay, so this one is a little bit different than the other ones, not only with the topping, but with the way that we cooked it. Mm -hmm. So it is supposed to be a sourdough bread. And you, you cover it with olive oil on both sides, and then you fry it in a pan five minutes on each side, and then you put honey, feta cheese, sesame seeds, and kalamata olives. The, the Greeks call it, oh, I'm going to butcher this, stataiti, I think. Mm. Is it good? He made a noise. <laughs> yeah, he did make a noise. It must be good. I really like olives and I really like honey. You we like need it? to taste these when we're done. I think we totally will. Yeah. I saved you some. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that means we have one more pizza. This is the one that I'm looking forward to. Yeah. 
Now this one has chocolate sauce, brownies, marshmallows, and it was supposed to have those Cadbury cream eggs. We can like open them up and have the cream kind of go all over. Yeah. But instead we found Cadbury caramel mm -hmm. bars. It's, so we kind of did that instead because we thought that would work out. Yeah, because it was kind of gooey. Okay. It's kind of gooey. Yeah. It's not quite Easter, so it's a little bit too soon to get that kind of thing. I know. Here. This pizza is from England. Might it smells easier. so good. It does. Oh my what gosh. kind of dough does this one? Did you use on this one? This one is just your <clears throat> traditional plain old pizza dough. I covered it with a little olive oil and then all the ingredients on top. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, how could you go wrong with this Look one, right? His face. <laughs> Are you in heaven? <laughs> I think he likes it. Is Mikey it, likes it. Is it too sweet? <laughs> no, he's like, what are you talking about? Too sweet. So it's ooey gooey. Kind of like if you get like a like one of those brownies with all the stuff on top of it at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. But it's also very much like if you had all that stuff on an ice cream sundae, mm. but mm. instead of, obviously instead of ice cream, it's bread underneath. So we have England, Greece, India. ancient India. Persia, and India. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? I know they're all different. They're all desserts. I know, but if um, you had to choose only one to continue eating. I'd probably say the Indian one because it's got meat. Really? Yeah. He does mutton. like meat. <clears throat> Can't go wrong with mutton, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Nice. All the all these other ones, I, I, they're all well. They're all vegetarian. I mean, nothing wrong against vegetarian stuff. I like right, vegetarian but stuff. Give a guy a meat. Yeah. <laughs> give a guy a meat. Give a guy a meat pizza. <laughs> and now we're gonna move on to demonstrations. Michael here is going to demonstrate how people eat their slices around the U.S. And to start us out, Mike, would you mind please showing us your traditional way of eating pizza? With pleasure, Karen. <laughs> ah, so no, this is a pinch and hold method. With the floppiness, support might be necessary. <laughs> Next, we have the knife and fork method. Go ahead and show us the knife and fork method, which is something that I, I definitely use at lunch. In our field, you know, our hands need to be clean, and so it's easier. You don't have to wash your hands as much if you, you know, eat pizza. Do you eat Snickers bars with a knife and fork too? because I hate that. I don't eat Snickers <laughs> bars, so it wouldn't matter. Michael, why don't you now show us the inside out fold method, please? The inside out fold. Yes, so you take the crust and you put the points of the crust so that they're touching. Oh God. And now you eat it. Who eats like that? Not me. <laughs> if you can't handle it, go ahead and do the traditional fold I'll method. I'll do the, the, the fold. Okay, that's better. So if it's too wide at the, at the end, Pinch it together, helps keep everything in. Please demonstrate the roll method, mm -hmm. which is where you take the crust and roll it to the tip. I cannot believe people do this. Where do I start? If that, that doesn't you seem start, odd to you. You start here and move forward. No, it doesn't because I've actually made croissants where you put stuff in the middle. The Italian part of my insides are churning and rolling over. Well, thank you, Michael, for demonstrating yeah. these different methods of eating a slice of pizza. <clears throat> And I just wanted to let you guys know there are actually many other ways. These are just the ones that we decided to do today. I think our pizza's ready. I think it is. Let's take it out and see if the ancient way of doing things worked. And it did not. I think I can understand why. Oh my God. All right, let's bring it out. So we put it in there with the hopes that our ingredients would flatten it out. I, I know that you had a little bit of trouble rolling out the dough. I did. So maybe if we could have gotten the dough flatter to begin with. And it would make sense that you'd have something maybe a little bit bigger and flatter. Bigger and flatter and maybe heavier toppings to definitely. weigh it down so that it wouldn't rise as much. Definitely some heavier toppings because we live were, and learn. Yeah, you live and learn. I mean, we're talking about anchovies and, you know, really heavy tomatoes. and Maybe bigger chunks. Definitely bigger chunks yeah. of cheese. Bigger really chunks of cheese too. and, yeah, maybe bigger chunks of onions and peppers and... But that said, I bet it still tastes great. It looks a little overcooked to me, but that is typical of the way that I cook, <laughs> so... <laughs> well, then it's 